All right, we've got our hole filled now, decking is in. Uh, now normally when you do this, you don't have to remove the whole area, but for this, the swamp cooler was so rusted out and leaking, all the shingles are completely degranulated and starting to fail in this area. So we're gonna tear off a larger area, but normally you wouldn't have to do this, but let's see how we do it. All right, so here we are again. Day is heated up, end of the day now. Um, we got the hole all patched. We got their new felt on top here. Got all our nails pulled. As you can see, we've stair-stepped all of our shingles kind of all the way around. Um, that's just to lay everything back in when it's done. Uh, so now we're just gonna start building shingles back up. So that's pretty much it from this point. Uh, we'll kind of lay some in as we go and show you some tricks on it. It is really tough with uh, shingles when they're really brittle. Uh, that's what we're dealing with here today. And so our hole has gotten a little bigger than we were originally planning on. Uh, that's just what we had to do to get shingles to stop breaking. So yeah. All right, so we're kind of wrapping up. We used to have a swamp cooler here, filled everything in. Now we're just piecing in the last little part of the roof. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you how that pieces in and how that all connects, where we meet the old roof and the new roof and come together. Um, so it's a little tough separating everything out. So it took some time, but this is the easy part now. So um, this isn't always gonna fit. So like in this scenario, we're tight here. So we're overhanging a little bit. So we're gonna have to custom cut the shingles in a little bit. Just make a couple marks, flip it over. Cut it, good. Just line them up so the corners are flush, or even right here. And then we are good to nail them in. So then usually you're putting about anywhere from four to six nails on the shingle, depending on the manufacturer, but I usually do about five, five, six. I nail the two ends just to keep it from moving. And then once that's done, we just nail the field in. You want to keep them actually a little higher than that. Kind of in the black line area, bottom of the black line. All right. That's that. This is it. Now we're, now we're going to kind of lay these together. So we've already done the work here. Um, and pulled all the nails and all the old shingles and stuff like that. Um, we're just putting these back together. It's kind of a little hard to get them in there. Uh, then usually um, you're just lining this next shingle up with the watermark here on the other one, the bottom edge of that. It's kind of where you want to go. This shingles is a little different. Same manufacturer, but they're so old they change lines, so we're going to hang them down a little lower. Tough one, getting nails up underneath here. One then once you're done, this is the next one. So we'll just nail this down. All right, now we're gonna piece this last part in. Oh, we got lucky, that one actually works. Oh yeah. That's rare. All right, no waste. I like that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh no. 